Cotton candy also known as fairy floss in Australia and candy floss in the Ireland, New Zealand, South Africa, India and Sri Lanka is a form of spun sugar. The confection is mostly sugar with small amounts of either flavoring or food coloring often being added. Cotton candy is made by heating and liquefying sugar and spinning it out through minute holes. It re-solidifies in minutely thin strands of sugar glass. The final cotton candy contains mostly air, with a typical serving weighing around 1 ounce or 28 grams. It is often served at fairs, circuses, carnivals, and Japanese festivals, and sold on a stick or in a plastic bag. Similar light halva confections include the Indian Sohan Papdi and Putharikulu, the Persian Pashmak, and the Turkish Pismaniya, although the latter is made with flour and water in addition to sugar. Tatar cuisine has similar flour honey sweet sawdust talkish kalava. Similar sweets include Chinese dragon's beard candy and Korean honey skein KKUL Topic: History Several places claim the origin of cotton candy, with some sources tracing it to a form of spun sugar found in Europe in the 19th century. At that time, spun sugar was an expensive, labor-intensive endeavor and was not generally available to the average person. Others suggest versions of spun sugar originated in Italy as early as the 15th century. Machine spun cotton candy was invented in 1897 by dentist William Morrison and confectioner John C. Wharton, and first introduced to a wide audience at the 1904 World's Fair as Fairy Floss. With great success, selling 68,655 boxes at 25 per box equivalent to $6 per box today. Joseph Lascaux, a dentist from New Orleans, Louisiana, invented a similar cotton candy machine in 1921. In fact, the Lascaux patent named the sweet confection cotton candy and the fairy floss name faded away, although it retains this name in Australia. In the 1970s, an automatic cotton candy machine was created which made the product and packaged it. This made it easier to produce and available to sell at carnivals, fairs, and stores in the 1970s and on. Tootsie Roll of Canada Limited, the world's largest cotton candy manufacturer, makes a bagged, fruit-flavored version called Fluffy Stuff. The United States declared National Cotton Candy Day to be on December 7. Production Typical machines used to make cotton candy include a spinning head enclosing a small sugar reserve bowl into which a charge of granulated, colored sugar or separate sugar and food coloring is poured. Heaters near the rim of the head melt the sugar, which is squeezed out through tiny holes by centrifugal force. Colored sugar packaged specially for the process is milled with melting characteristics and a crystal size optimized for the head and heated holes. Granulated sugar used in baking contains fine crystals which spin out unmelted, while rock sugar crystals are too large to properly contact the heater, slowing the production of cotton candy. The molten sugar solidifies in the air and is caught in a larger bowl which totally surrounds the spinning head. Left to operate for a period, the cotton-like product builds up on the inside walls of the larger bowl, at which point machine operators twirl a stick or cone around the rim of the large catching bowl, gathering the sugar strands into portions which are served on stick or cone, or in plastic bags. As the sugar reserve bowl empties, the operator recharges it with more feedstock. The product is sensitive to humidity, and in humid summer locales, the process can be messy and sticky. Modern innovations in cotton candy equipment include vending machines which automatically produce single servings of the product, developed in Taiwan, and lighted or glowing sticks. Flavoring The source material for candy mesh is usually both colored and flavored. When spun, cotton candy is first white because it is made from sugar, but adding dye or coloring can transform the color. Originally, cotton candy was just white. In the U.S., so-called floss sugar is available in a wide variety of flavors, but two flavor blend colors predominate blue raspberry and pink vanilla, both originally formulated by the gold medal brand which uses the names Boo Blue and Silly Nilly. Cotton candy also comes out purple, when mixed, making a significant favorite at fairs. 
Cotton candy machines were notoriously unreliable until gold medal's invention of a sprung base in 1949, and since then, they have manufactured nearly all commercial cotton candy machines and much of the floss sugar in the U.S. Typically, once spun, cotton candy is only marketed by color. Absent a clear name other than blue, the distinctive taste of the blue raspberry flavor mix has gone on to become a compound flavor that some other foods gum, ice cream, rock candy, fluoride toothpaste occasionally borrow cotton candy flavored ice cream to invoke the nostalgia of cotton candy that people typically only get to experience on vacation or holidays. Pink bubble gum went through a similar transition from specific branded product to a generic flavor that transcended the original confection, and bubble gum flavor often shows up in the same product categories as cotton candy flavor. <laughs> Machines. In 1978, the first automated machine was used for the production of cotton candy. Since then, the creations and innovations of this machine have become greater and greater. They range in sizes from countertop accessible to party and carnival size. Modern machines that are made for commercial use can hold up to 3 pounds kilograms of sugar and have compartments for storage of extra flavors. The rotating bowl at the top spins at 3,450 revolutions per minute. Gallery See also Dragon's Beard Candy Candy making